I'll just hit start recording. I'm seven minutes late on the pre-show, but we're watching 6-1 Indie Game Showcase today. It's apparently 75 minutes long, and it's showcasing 40 indie games. Yeah, I agree, Sergeant. There's so many good ones. It's hard to keep up with them all. But luckily, that's what the content creators are for. They'll keep up for you. And if you really like indie games, you can listen to my new podcast, exclamation mark podcast, where I interview indie game developers. It's pretty good. Uh, so this showcase is going to start in two minutes, but they're doing a little pre-show. The first thing that we saw for a few seconds was Whisker Squadron Spirit Survivor. City lo-fi sessions, valley peaks, just oh. crow things, yellow taxi goes vroom, Whisker Squadron Survivor, and Wretched, all available right now. What we heckin' watching here? Hey, beat em ups good to see you, Wood. Says I found yesterday on Twitter an indie here. game showcase that's happening who today doesn't, by who doesn't know how to count prop a smaller channel called Six One oh. Indie. They're showcasing like forty five indie games in seventy minutes or something. No ads, no nothing. So I was like, I might as well just watch it. React content's the easiest. Uh, granted, I don't know what this is gonna be, but it could be fun. Hope you're good, Wood. It's good to see you. Love that. We love indie games. I hope it's not a lot of games like this, because no offense, I don't like these types of games where you just kind of do this, but this looks like an update, which is still pretty cool. Uh, who doesn't like Among Us in 2024? And it should start in 30 seconds. Sticky business. Free Among Us update coming soon. Cozy. Among Us stinks. It's still sus. Oh. Now that concludes PT's play now pre-show. But the fun has only started. The 6-1 Indie Showcase commences with a world premiere. A world premiere to start off an indie game showcase? My hopes are not... Oh, Jesus. What? Hopes melted? What do you mean? This looks stupid. This is silly, stupid fun. Why stream it? No. You guys don't have Nintendo level hypes here, okay? These are indie games. Mutate the game. You can already tell it's indie games because I feel like their voice needs to be a little bit louder because they're getting drowned out by the music. Or is that just me? L event, where's Silk Song? I know. I almost can't believe where is Silk Song? Imagine Hollow Knight Silk Song gets showcased on this random indie game showcase compared to everything else. Welcome to the 6 1 Indie Showcase. My name is Mike Townsro, and I'm Kyle Stevenson. It's our second showcase of 2024, and we are so thrilled to be back for more exclusive looks, showcase debuts, and of course, world premieres. It's our most jam-packed show to date, so later on, be sure to check out 61indie.com slash showcase for a full rundown of all the news, demos, developer interviews, and so much more. We're going to be taking a look at 37 upcoming indie games. We kicked off the main show with the world premiere of Dunk Dunk, an intense pick-up-and-play action basketball game inspired by Rocket League and Smash Bros. We adore tense nail-biting multiplayer sessions with our pals, so huge thanks <laughs> dunk, to Platonic dunk. Friends for allowing us to share the debut game from Badgeheimer Limited. Tag me in, Mike! We're obviously huge fans of absurd mascots, so let's take a trip to the cursed town of Kazumachi for an exclusive look at a highly anticipated upcoming indie. And after that, 
even more equally absurd creatures such as cussing little freaks and Floridians. Florida's real weird. Get wrecked, Florida. You can't even take... Florida's taking strays at indie game showcases, too. What is this? A discarded Yakuza in a dying town has one chance, was this in South Dakota? To fix his mistake? Is that a toe? <laughs> this is definitely indie. What is happening? With promise mascot? That's more than a weird little mascot. Get ready for a turn-based RPG like everything you've seen before. It's the edge of Allegoria. The edge of Allegoria? It looks like Pokemon in terms of graphics. Old school Pokemon. Oh. It is Pokemon, except you're the one fighting. Yo, be careful! Nintendo's handing out suit. Nintendo's handing handing out uh, freaking what is it? Uh, lawsuits. I mean, the thing is, the battling looks just like Pokemon. Interesting. I... Interesting. You know, it doesn't look horrible. Rolling joints? Pokemon would never. Drop the chaos. Uncle Don, he looks like he lives in a sewer. Merge items? What is happening in this? What the hell? I don't know why watching him make a rocket launcher made me want to play Crab Champions. Gators. Be the man. What is this? Floridale man, the joy of chaos. Flora Dale, man. Yo, Danny. Flora. How serious is this uh, showcase gonna be? What's up, Abraham? Hey, hey, hey. Who needs GTA 6 when you got Flora Dale, man? You know what I'm saying, God? I sure do. All right, read the next bit before Rockstar lawyers come after me. I mean, I guess so. We're doing something a bit different this time around. Usually it's myself, Mike, and Petey on camera. But for today's show, we asked a few friends who are quite familiar with the indie scene to help us showcase a bunch of games. We also invited a handful of the devs themselves to share their stories with you directly. So let's hand things over to Bastion, who's crafting a locomotive mystery waiting You're to be You're playing WoW for the first time in your life? My condolences. Salut tout le monde, c'est Bastien Usrex. Aujourd'hui, je vais vous parler de mon nouveau jeu Trip. New game Trip, which I've been developing alone for about a year. First person narrative game set on a train. With lots of mysteries and secrets just waiting for you. You explore passenger cars, talk to characters, and try to figure out what's going on in this strange train. And how to progress through the game. If you're interested, a demo is available now on Steam and itch.io to try the game. So add it to your wish list. Follow me on social networks at Bastionist Rex. A huge thanks to the 6-1 Indie Showcase team for organizing this great event. 
event. Without further delay, here is the trip trailer. Okay. Is everything fine? Never seen someone bring their treadmill on a trip. <laughs> What is happening in these games? Oh, how funny. What is up, Fiona? What is happening in these games? Steam wishlist trip. I don't know what, what, what are we doing? What, what is the game? Nami! Sorry, one of our cats likes to take a wa take the water bowl and try to tip it over because that I don't know looks why. Like it's gonna take us on an intriguing journey. I don't know also, why. Hi, I'm Jenny. You may also know me as Kimchika, and I am a content creator who strives to help people find and discuss their next favorite game. I'm also one of the organizers at Wholesome Games. You may know us from the showcases like Wholesome Direct or Wholesome Snack, where we curate games that are generally joyful, compassionate, and uplifting for folks to play. I am thrilled to be hopping in and helping out my buddies here at 61 Indie to highlight three exciting and not necessarily cozy games for your enjoyment. Whether they have you teleporting to escape a biomechanical world, sequestered in your apartment alone, or engaging in some pretty flashy dance battles, each of these three indies caught my eye not just because of their distinctive What is that visuals, emote? That's the but lizard. because they're taking on mechanics that we know and love and adding a little twist. Oh my god, I've seen this game on Twitter. This game looks way too complicated for me. But it's a very good idea. It just looks way too complicated for me to do. I'm not smart enough to do puzzles on stream anymore. This isn't wholesome. It doesn't need to be wholesome. This looks so cool. Yeah, it, it, yeah, like I said, I think it's a good idea. I just don't think I'd be streaming because I think I'd be too scared to because... I don't think I'm smart enough to do it. Bionic Bay. Bionic Bay. Oh. Here's your wholesome. It's just you and a few lonely flowers. You decide to take a biscuit. My little poets. You try to write, but words have left you. Somebody has been waiting for you, a goldfish. Thought we'd never meet again. We're taught we have. Oh my god. Let's be happy, happy. I'll always be waiting by this red telephone. Always, always. I'm a couch potato. Oh no, I already edited enough outside of stream. I don't want to edit on stream. I saw Sony Vegas in there. What did you miss? Some weird things. That's all I'll say. Fishbowl. I miss my friends.studio. Oh my. Welcome to Port Tomorrow. A perfect place for every Woosh citizen to work, socialize, and relax. This makes me think of Animal Crossing. Woosh have thought of everything, so you never have to. Don't believe their marketing and don't believe their messaging. This is the face of Woosh. Look around. We are all trapped here on this island. We are being watched and we have to fight back. I know they outnumber us, but we've discovered their weakness. Their weakness is dance. Dance reprograms them. Dance makes them see us as more than just a number on a spreadsheet. You have to dance. You have to dance. This like is a good way to kill an hour, though. Take back control. Free yourself and feel the movement. The revolution will not be choreographed. 
Mighty Yell, All Systems Dance. Dance till you're dead, 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 dead. Hey everybody, dead. my name's Dave, this is Shannon, and we're from Mighty Yell. The fun thing about dance is that you don't have to be good at it. You don't even have to know what you're doing for dance to energize you and make you feel like you can take on the world. That's me. Next, we're going to show you how to dab. Mm. Start by okay. both arms. Well, you lost then me. Bend one arm towards your body at the elbow and tilt your That's not a forward. dance move, I don't think. I don't think the dab is a dance move. Thanks, Shannon. Be sure to wish list Bionic Bay. Is that a dance? All systems dance to stay in the loop about well, then again, I do the goddamn grocery again, cart. Huge thank you, to you know, my you're, like, you're riding the grocery, you're picking stuff thank up you off the shelves. Join in the fun and That's one of my go to's. Three very special upcoming it's Kat's favorite one that I do. If you find yourself looking my favorite for dance move, the grocery joy, cart. Celebrate kindness and generally yeah, it, it goes hard. It goes hard. Be sure to check out wholesomegames.com. We have a monthly newsletter, and that's where you can see all of the updates about events, showcases, and Your dancing was forbidden by the Geneva Convention? Speaking of games that channel a cozy vibe, here is a 6-1 Indie alumni with a world premiere. Yo, welcome everybody. My name is Graham Reed, also known as Graham of Legend, and I'm really excited today to tell you about my latest game. It's a game called Orlands, and after working on Super Space Club, which, if you don't know, was a very hectic, action-packed space shooter, I really want to make something cozy. I want to make something chill, just light, you know? And so today, I'm going to show you Orlands, which is a simple, cozy little game where... Me and Kat have never gone to the clubs. For cozy little people. What more could you want, right? Almost five years, so Dave, we've never gone to a club. Thank you so much, 6-1 in the team, for having and me. We like to just Here's sit on the couch at the end Enjoy. of the day and watch television. Like last night, I got her to watch The Martian because it was leaving Netflix soon. And she liked it. Our Lands. A cozy little game about crafting cozy little lands. Who doesn't love some cozy? I'm not the biggest cozy gamer out there, but... I can appreciate some... Stardew Valley every once in a while. Fields of Mystria. Our lands. Wish list on Steam today. If you're a cozy fan, that's Graham's debut game Super down Space your alley. helped open our very first showcase. So it's amazing having Graham back on to share Our Lands with us. It looks fantastic. Yeah, it really does. Project like Our Lands never failed to give me that urge the for mustard an escape, dance a grand shuffle. adventure. What's so special about indie devs is how varied their takes on adventures can be. Befriending Greek gods, exploring a monstrous metropolis, or the in plucky first squire game's case, navigating a marriage crisis. Select to play Hungry Pixel. Status left by wife. <laughs> F. He's fine. Okay, maybe not. What's up, bros? Says wife. What is this? Live a definitely not epic adventure. Weird folks. What is this? Like, what type of... What the... F I feel like I'd lose track of my character because he's just a black pixel. Oh, never mind. He can put on a hat. A sinister conspiracy? A sinister worm spiracy? Are these supposed to be... Oh, these are supposed to be worms. Netherworld. Coming digital and physical 2025. Wishlist on Steam. Steam and Nintendo Switch. Long lost Greek gods. Now we're back to Cozy. Oh, God. Huh. However, all adventurers need a break. Why not take a breather at one of the island's many chill-out spots? I don't know why. Watching them jog is unpleasant to the eyes. Pick a track from the game's relaxing soundtrack. Watch the world go by. Maybe it's just me, but I don't want to do this in a video game. Sit down and do nothing? That's the exact opposite. I'm already sitting down and doing nothing with my day by playing a video game. 
I'm having fun, but... No way. Like, I want to do stuff. You can even swap the ambrosia fruit you collect with the gods for rare music sets to try and get the full set. If God is still. forward to welcome you to Ambrosia Island later this year. My cozy game is Stardew Valley. Like this? I don't... Why? I'd rather just go sit outside. Granted, I don't have a beach near me because I live in Alberta, but still. Does... Is it somebody's tea? Sure, probably. A lot of pixel games. Are, are pixel games making a comeback? Again? The dreams that haunt you are my prison. That looks like Crate. this game is. <laughs> Octopus City Bless? No, Octopus City Blues. Add to your wish list. What is it? Hello, my name's Harvey, and I'm one of the co-founders, game designer, and developer at Studio Morgan. Hi, I'm Holly. I'm the art director, level designer, and other co-founder of Studio Morgan. And today we're really excited to share with you the trailer for our first game, Morgan Metal Detective. You play as 14-year-old Morgan as she uses her trusty metal detector to explore the magical island of Glaston. And you'll pick up quests from people around the island and you'll have to use your metal detector to try and find where all these things are hidden around the island. So, have a look at this trailer. Enjoy. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Morgan World Prepare Metal Detective. I More cassettes. You, I missed you too. That's Grandpa's old metal detector. How about you go try it out around Glaston? You know how we said there's some art styles that make me just not want to play a game? If you find any litter while you're at it, you should take it to Senna's trading post. Cash for trash. It's a simple concept. Oh, you can take photos. In things too, Sally. The island. It's dying. Help me. What are these games? Morgan Metal Detective coming soon. Literally everywhere. Couch co-op is honestly kind of rare nowadays, especially on the AAA side of things. Our next block fully embraces the nostalgic sensation of sitting with a friend and playing a game across completely different genres. I just feel like They're I've seen most of these games media. many times the before. Together and they miss a jump, distract you in a puzzle competition, they crush your little lemons. How about this one? Control gravity like never before. Yeah. And introducing multiplayer. Are these like a tomato and a 
Tomato? I hate split screen. Hate it. Me and Cap played Lego Star Wars for three hours on stream. Split screen was awful in it. Why did split screen exist? Was that... Mozart? One player controls gravity and digging? Yo, babe, you're controlling gravity tonight. Sorry. I, I, I don't like split screen like anything. It's just so... We had to take turns back then. Oh, poor Capaleta. Oh, there. Uh, is that supposed to be Mario? What in the world? Didn't we just see this game? I, I swear this art style is everywhere. And like, no disrespect to the devs because it's personal taste and personal opinion. But I really dislike this art style. Doesn't do anything for me. But every game in these showcases appeals to somebody, even if it's not me. March of Madness. Scramble Star Crossing. Free demo on Steam available now. World premiere. One button only. 20 plus mini games. One fruit wins. Three players, five players, six players, eight players, nine players. Time to play Drunk with Friends. I haven't drank in a while since... Chained Together, I haven't drank. Wait, no. Whatever I did a community night, that was the last time I drank. I don't know which one was last. BC Media Lab. Unless your inner luchador unclaim your destiny in the ring. Master a repertory of traditional and one of a kind moves. Authentic Lucha Libre techniques and relentless pommel attacks. Painful submissions and spectacular air attacks. Don't let the ref count you out. Featuring real luchadores like Mr. Iguana and Conan. And more to be announced. Engage the crowd. Where's Hollow Knight Silk Song? Or risk the wrath. Where's Darkest Dungeon Embark 2 on DLC? An epic journey with our heroes through landscapes of Mexico. Collect the mystical artifacts of Aztec power. Discover the secret ingredients for the ultimate Taco Perfecto. Centuries of legends, what? myths, and enemies, all packed into one incredible Lucha Libre game. Lucha Libre Legend of the Mask! Hey guys, Destiny here. What's up? I am the co-founder of Dames for Games, a program that uplifts women and female identifying That's a lot of baby Yodas. in the gaming industry. Sorry, I don't know the actual name of them. Because I believe you should be heard, seen, and respected. And you know who else feels that way? Our allies at 61 Indie. So huge shout out to Mike, 
Kyle, and everyone on the 6-1 Indie team for giving us a space to highlight three of the games that we thought would fit the theme. Grogu? You know, you know, make a scene or a splash. It's summer. It's hot outside. I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of water. I'm thinking of swimming. Baby so sit back, Yoda, relax. Do, 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 do. I always say grab some snacks because that's what I'm known to do. And check out these trailers. And then I'll meet you back here when you're done. More pick. I feel like the two art styles have been weird 3D ones and then pixelated. This looks more my jam. One shot at every fight. One shot at every decision. One shot to save the world. So if you die, you restart the entire game. Can you succeed? Or will you make things worse? What a fascinating attitude you have. I did not pin you for a drama queen. Peppered, an existential platformer. Wishlist on Steam? Okay. I'll keep my eye on that one. That one seems something I could like. Call as your wife is not doing well. She might not have long left. Oh, a dead wife? That's depressing. Mom, she's at the hospice, though. She hasn't gone to a special place. She's just gone. I don't she need to be depressed! to tell you I've never told anyone things just feel wrong Peppered has a demo there we go Peppered everything just gets worse and worse listen we don't need to get sad here it's there to remind you what happens when you disobey me The six pistols. I'm bad. I'll I'm cry bad. right now. Damn. Look at me when I'm speaking to you. The quiet things. If I don't. Based on a true story? Oh no, that's even worse. Once upon a rogue's tale. I think this one's been in my email. A game Burr might like. Oh, Peppered is something I might like. I don't know, there's just so many goddamn deck builders out there. There's too many deck builders. Hey guys, welcome back. Wait, what? How did you like those trailers? If you liked any of the games there... that you saw, which I know you did, I'm pretty sure you loved them all, please make sure to wishlist them. It means so much to these developers. Again, I want to give a shout out to 61 Indie for allowing us to take some time up on their showcase to feature these incredible games. And, um... Now that that's done, how about we take a step back in time? You're missing okay. a showcase? To it's a small showcase. Not many people know about. Venice. Yeah, knock on the coffin lid I have in my inventory. Show my inventory, my library. Same with Shogun Showdown. There's just too many. Part of the 61 Indie Showcase with our first commercial game, is Lightning Hero. It's a top-down puzzle adventure game where you have to uh, explore this uh, 18th century Venetian villa and solve its mysteries in order to escape. There's a lot of uh, quick characters skills to unlock bosses to fight lots and lots of puzzles so yeah take a look at the trailer if you like the game try it out there's a demo out now let us know what you think 
and enjoy the showcase. Dude, so many pixel graphics. Why are pixel graphics so popular? I thought pixel I thought pixel was like the hardest thing. Any good games, any farming sims? There's been some cute and cozy games. Cause it looks cool. It looks cool. It is amazing, but it's everywhere. I don't even know what that said. Every time we go into production for these shows, we always brainstorm ways to help keep the 6-1 Indie Showcase feeling fresh. But there's one consistent aspect you can always count on. Gnarly Indie Horror. I know we said it back in March, but these next four games may make up my favorite horror segment to date. And sure, I'm a bit biased here, since we're kicking it off with the release date for one of my most anticipated games. Why would it die? No, nothing. Our, our style is not like that. It's gonna die ever. Okay. Okay. I see it so clearly. The moving bag in the wall. Behind God's back. Healing the Lord. Feeling great and constant. Mouthwashing releases September 26th. What? Another horror game? Don't be scared. It's just a dream. Four horror games? Oh, I wasn't listening. We will be together until you reach your goal. This gameplay initially reminds me of Gunbrella. The way the shotgun is set up. I don't know if any of you remember Gunbrella when we played that. It came out just before. It came out in the middle of my Starfield playthrough. Omut wishlist on Steam. That one didn't look that bad. Hey, okay, a lot of these games don't appeal to the to the me. You can't see me playing games where I sit on a beach and do nothing. Hopefully you can turn off motion blur. Painted in blood. Wishless now. Yeah, boomer shooter Resident Evil, that's what I was thinking. Hello, and thank you for having our game One-Eyed Liho at the 6-1 Indie Game Festival. My name is Vladimir Bilecki, and I'm a game designer at Martyrska Studio. Our game One-Eyed Liho is a horror game based on the fairy tale with the same name. It plays similarly to Firewatch and The Invincible, but with the difference that it is a black and white horror experience, similar to some movies by A24 or Soviet movie V. You play as a smith traveling along with the tailor, trying to escape the other world and to escape the Liho itself by solving its puzzles. 
When we began researching the story of the game, we found that it dates back as far as Homer's Odyssey, or possibly even further. So this motif traveled all around the world since those times. I believe that you'll find familiar elements in the game, even though the setting may be a bit unfamiliar. So once again, thank you for having our game on at Liho on the festival. Enjoy the trailer and enjoy the rest of the show. It's nice here. I thought he was talking about the last game. I just want to get out of here. Where do you find such a company? I'm still Liho. Nothing will get him out of here. Look, what is this? What? Черт! Да бес его знает, портной. Говорят, кто ступил в темный лес, не уйдет прежний. Выдержи его испытание. Бродей сквозь чрево мертвеца. Умри и сам воскресни. The head reminds me of uh What's his name in God of War? What's his name? Mamir? One-eyed Liko, wishless now on Steam. Mamir. Mamir. Unlike Kyle, I have taste. One-eyed Liko channels severe Robert Eggers vibes. It's such a dream game for a little freak like me. Don't you dare turn the people on me. One-eyed Liko looks outstanding. Similar to horror, another staple of these showcases are our fuzzy little friends. Our next block highlights the classic trifecta of pets. Dogs, cats, and you guessed it, dinosaurs. Bold, powerful, I love it. Stalk your prey in turn-based combat. Don't ever do that again. I don't think dinosaurs were friends with each other, but that's okay. We don't need logic in video games. Sawyer, Shade. <laughs> He's a dinosaur just in a mall. Clever Girls Dress Rehearsal Steam Demo Fall 2024. Wishlist Now. Haunted Pause. <laughs> He's got a little top hat on. Is this a co op game where you play as dogs? Uh, the, the, the saying is still true. If you make a game of cute animals, of dogs and cats, people will wishlist it. Guarantee you, if this was two people, you guys wouldn't wishlist it. If it was two humans. But since it's two dogs, you probably wishlist it. Haunted Pause. Does look, doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad. Wishlisted on Steam. World Premiere Game Boy Color. I don't know. I feel like making Game Boy games in 2024 might not be the best. A new retro detective adventure. I don't think many people are trying to buy Game Boy games in 2024. But well, maybe there's a market.
Kind of looks like a Game Boy Ace Attorney. To an extent. Maybe, maybe not. Inspector Waffles. Early days. Hi, I'm part Sony. I'm the game director of Thousand Star Studio. We're currently working on Ikeum, an exciting turn-based RPG inspired by Indian cinema. The game takes place in the fantastical realms of ancient India, where players unite the villagers through dance battles while confronting the threat of evil Rakshasas. Here's a small sneak peek of our gameplay. We really hope you enjoy it, and don't forget to wishlist. Dazzle and turn-based dance battles. What the fuck? Goodness gracious, what are these eggs? Call them in dance numbers. Only make Game Boy games? Explore the world of Ikeum. Well, it's more than just dancing. There's some puzzles. And some frame drops. Unite against evil Rakshane. Raksh. Rakshane? I didn't even get to read the word. Somebody's evil, just give them that mustache. Turn based dance combat. Steam, PS5, Xbox Series Akim X. tells a compelling story rooted in a culture not commonly found in games. I mean, it's a Bollywood turn based RPG. How badass is that? Dude, the colors, the music, I don't know and if that's that little a tease at the end. RPG, really. Impeccable. Keep it up. Give, give me more of your little narrative goodies. Keep my goodies out of this. Anyways, similar to the adventures we saw earlier, it's impressive how unique narratives told within the indie scene can be. These next four games hold riveting stories centered around Transylvanian spellcrafters, corruption in law enforcement, a David Lynchian mystery, and another best left for the developers to discuss. Have you ever wondered what hidden talents lie within you? No. I'm pretty Time content with my life. to flee the nest. And make your own choices. But maybe I'm really good at tennis and we don't know it. The Transylvanian Institute for Magic awaits. I hope I'd be really good at tennis. Choose which spells to craft. The joy loads run again. To change lives. What and the? Lift the veil off of ancient mystery. Benjamin buttoned him. Learn to be closer to your colon. Next to your destiny. Near mage. Interesting. Interesting. Wish list now. Oh, my. Papers, please. He doesn't have a mouth. I've been here before. Another day, another stiff. Another cut-off sentence at the end of their story. We'll keep you evil-minded, too. Makes a man think. Reaper comes for me. Will folks say I was a good man? All I know is 
Good cops solve crimes. Why doesn't he have a lip? Bad cops cover him up. Oh. I sure as hell ain't the first kind. Crime or punishment? My name is Laura Tanner. I'm writing an article about the people here and about the comet. The meteor? Like that's our biggest problem? Anyway, welcome to Laburnum Creek. Oh, you write? It's this art style again, man. Too. I'm not so much an author, more a journalist. The game could I be great, but the art style just so turns me away. About this place that people will stay here despite the threat of it all ending. You shouldn't be asking why Laburnum Creek is so nice and why everyone wants to stay. The question is, why did you come here? I don't know if it's the altitude or the way the wind shudders. This reminds me of pines. Alan Wake. Maybe it's cosmic rays. I, I couldn't tell you, but Laburnum Creek does something to people. I get the feeling you're not talking about the comet, but I don't understand. Sometimes this old place seems unfamiliar. I see things, and then they're gone. Everything around here is a little strange sometimes. There is more to Laburnum Creek than meets the eye. Visitors to the resort often take a day or two to get in tune with the vibrations. <gasps> I mean, do what? My name is related to Bill Burr. People look up I'm Burr, they get in Bill one, Burr first instead no of me. no one talks about it. Feels like this place. It's pulling me apart. This definitely reminds me of Alan Wake. I've got my eyes open. We I stay behind. Coming. New demo available. Miss Tanner. Interesting. I also come in the name of programmer Carlos Cortez, my production assistant Renato Mayer, and my actress Nina. I present to you my debut game, Sawdade. It's a point-and-click based in post-apocalyptic something, my home country. Help our protagonist cross through the barren landscape and find a big enough rock to throw himself off of. Of off. Learn his story through a cooking game with only one recipe. Enjoy the trailer. Wish list, please. Add Twitch? Well, of course, if you add Twitch. There's also a guy that has a similar name that does Roblox on YouTube. Oh, there's a Sherlock game with that name? I didn't realize it was a name. I didn't realize it was a game. I thought you were talking about like a TV show. Point and click adventure. Good omelet. <laughs> That's what I took Sound out of that. Is one of those titles you see and instantly know it's going Ad to be start in five experience. minutes, by the way. It's if you're not subscribed, I'm sorry. Crew the moment we watch that trailer. I mean, there's nothing like. <laughs> hey, not good gamer. <laughs> He's back. Now, did you think you were rid of me, Mike? Did you think the crypt master. I would never be back? I would give you and Kyle a great big hug, but it might suck the souls from your bodies. Luckily for you, I am here on different business today. My minions at Ecopara Games have begged me to help them. You see, they have three games they've been dying to show you. The first game is about vampires. Ooh, look at me. I'm 700 years old, and I have the skin of a teenager. Ooh. The second game is about demons. Oh, I'm so fancy. 
Speaking of demons, I finished Good Omens yesterday on the bus while going to the gym. Finally finished Good Omens. Took me about, took me the whole hockey off season to finish it. Anyway, all three titles deserve your utmost attention, Mike and Kyle. So please refrain from blathering. And play the trailers. My God, it's this art style again, man. When I graduated from the medical academy, but it's a bunny. They made me swear an oath. First, do no harm. But they didn't know. Every oh my god, again? From pain, suffering, and blood I like 2D games a lot more. I've always wanted to help people. But what is this game? Although Besides being a vampire. Every night when I rise from my vessel, I'm not so sure anymore. I don't always see the best in people, even less myself. And now, I'm capable of so much more than I could have ever imagined. I still tell myself that I want to help them, but I must hunt. This is good. And Lord, it tastes so good. Oh, I hate that sound. Oh, goodness gracious, that sound. That sound, though. What the fuck did I just look up to see? You need to love me. What world? I thought this was a dating sim with the way it started off. What we are going up and down like a seesaw. Got me going along for the ride, got me going yeehaw. Time flies when you have fun, I can't even see ya. Time flies cause I'm having fun, I can't even see ya. Back and forth, 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 back and forth. I can't help but teeth in the scale, in the scale. Can't help that I want to see you prevail. But I can't help but tease you the scale, to the scale. Can't help the feeling that maybe I fail, maybe I fail. Can't help the feeling that maybe I fail. The two of us are somewhat of a permanent jail. Got Interesting to combat, like you have to shoot the hearts. The Most of my dogs hit away, tuck in their tail, in their tail. What we are going up and down like a seesaw. Got non idea what I got my hands on? No idea what I got my hands on. Our old and so fucking cringy vlogs. Oh, dear God. We got like life slide devlogs. Sorry, we're closed. November 14th. At least it comes out in a couple months. This is Pod Racing from the creators of Rain World. Rain World's a pretty big game. A racing game. Maybe a racing game.
a racing combat game. Personally, you hate the graphics. It looks like PS1 inspired graphics. But don't be like me and judge a game based off graphics. Give it a shot if you like the way it looks. Good. And now that those buffoons are quiet, I can show you one last secret from Akupara and Video Cult. Are there any Rain World fans in the chat today? Any curious little slug cats? Hoping to see gameplay for their second favorite indie title. After mine, of course. Well, I think I've kept you waiting long enough. Enjoy. A drop of the rain pierces the still water. A ripple? A fart ripple? A ring ever expanding? Consider moving along the circumference of a ring. From one eye a loop, from one eye a spiral, from one eye the motion of a line. Consider the a second drop, a thousandth. A multiplex of rings, spirals interacting in countless ways. A froth, a sea. <laughs> If you played Rain Warrior, this is exciting you. I never played Rain World. Never really caught my interest. I don't think that's a kitty. It's just a thing. Rain World The Watcher. So it's Rain World DLC. March 28th, 2025. Surprise! Rain World The Watcher, the heavily anticipated DLC expansion to the beloved atmospheric platformer, finally has a date. Big thanks to our friends at Akupara and the Cryptmaster himself for delivering four exclusive banger announcements. And despite having Slugcats on the show, we somehow still have one more thing to share with you. Our final game comes from a dev who genuinely captures why we do these showcases. Over a conversation on Twitter, he expressed how overwhelming marketing and event outreach can be for an indie, especially for someone who just became a new dad during the peak summer season. As soon as we watched this trailer, we knew this game was going to be closing the show. World premiere. Oh no, it's cute! Oh, my weakness. Take my money. Sometimes you need the forest to burn. Pure fauna? I don't know if that was a Y or an I. Pyrofauna? Gotta have a cute... Sometimes you need a cute little forest fire. Paper, scissors, and glue are now in motion. Meanwhile, please wish list. Hi, my name is Tomas from Studio Petoms, and I make games out of paper. Here's some old stuff. I've made this for Papatura, a point-and-click adventure game. And for upcoming game, Pirofauna. Here are some trees. 
and various plants and some barks, some grass. I mostly work alone, but fortunately, a legendary composer, Thomas Dvorak, joined the team and the great sound effect artist, Yurei Mravet. In Biofauna, a little flame will burn everything in the forest, but in a friendly way, in cozy adventure exploration style, and the bugs will love it. I hope you enjoy the trailer, so please wish this the game! Now let's go back to Mike and Kyle to close out the show. Hi. Goodbye, Thomas. Circling back to Mike's words, Tomas and Puro Fauna represent why Tomas. we do the showcase. Puro Fauna. Countless indies have limited resources and bandwidth, and all they're looking for is a chance. We're so honored Pedums and all of the developers who are part of the show today trusted us with that chance. And I believe that is a wonderful place to call it a wrap on the second and final 6 one Indie Showcase for 2024. Time to get sappy and thank a whole bunch of folks. Marcus, uh, please, if, if, you, if you don't mind here. Visioncraft Productions, you, Ryan, Manny, beautiful human beings. Thank you, get out of my shot. Vicarious, thank you for all of the love and support helping these unbelievable developers. Whether you're casually watching as an indie fan, you're co-streaming the event, or you are That's part me. of the indie community, I'm co-streaming it. enthusiasm for these games. I got paid $10 million dollars to be here. Nights. Thank you. We can't wait to see all of your reactions and hear your thoughts. I didn't get paid. And while it's only myself, Mike, and Petey here today, the 6-1 crew is what elevates the showcase to a full-blown event every single time. Last but certainly not least, to all of our development and publishing partners, as well as our friends who shared the screen with us today, you guys are everything. Thank you for your trust, your talent, and your passion. Once again, for everyone watching, here's your reminder to visit 61indie.com slash showcase. There you'll find the full list of every single game shown, as well as conversations with the devs, hands-on previews from our editorial team, and a lengthy post-show podcast where we invite you behind the scenes on the production and discuss each game further. Better yet, you can dig into the first ever 61 Indie Showcase Steam event and not only support the game shown today, but the alumni from all our previous showcases as well. So please wish list, play demos, and add new games to your libraries, and most importantly, keep on championing those indie devs. Closing our March showcase, I briefly touched on the frequent layoffs and consolidation plaguing our industry. Unfortunately, it's still a relevant topic, and on top of that, vile online remarks and attacks continue to harm our friends and colleagues. Innovation lies at the heart of the indie <gasps> scene. Innovation is what keeps our industry fresh, exciting, and strong. Crafting a stronger ecosystem starts with kindness, respect, and support towards one another. We're going to keep on supporting the scene one game and one developer at a time without any barriers or gatekeeping, and instead with warmth and care. It's not something one organization can possibly do nor should do alone. So like you saw today, no we're stoked to continue collaborating with even more voices from across the indie scene and celebrate these projects together. Where is Hollow Knight? The 6-1 Indie on. Showcase returns next spring, but we're not done with 2024 yet. The inaugural Indie Game Awards will debut on December 19th. The IGAs will be a celebration of excellence within the indie scene, featuring a jury of diverse voices and, of course, the developers themselves. No, hold on, I we'll have more details to share in the coming months, but for now, we love you, stay safe out there, and play more indies. That, that was awful. Fine, just hug it out. Okay. That's a wrap. <laughs> that was awful.